Hey, want to hear a fact that makes you feel old? Pokemon, a series of popular games and anime as of time recording, is 23 years old since the release of Red and Blue in Japan in 1996. That sounds really crazy, right? Over 20 years of games, movies, anime episodes, 23 years is a lot of time to go through without being stale and keeping in the spotlight. So how can the studio that created the phenomenon, Game Freak, can keep it up? Why not switching things up with Pokemon spin-offs? Yes, Pokemon has a huge catalogue of spin-offs created over the years to keep the franchise fresh, but still be able to be consistent with the recognisable traits of the series. Why not have a Pokemon game about being a Pokemon Ranger which is just drawing circles in the screen? A game about playing as the Pokemon themselves in a dungeon RPG? Or a Pokemon game set in feudal Japan? Because why not? But what's the oldest, most experimental and ultimately the most questionable kind of games? Is Pokemon spin-off based about Pikachu? Yes, as the mascot of the series, having games about one of the most recognisable fictional characters in the 21st century makes a lot of sense. But the games themselves are a bit odd. For example, look at Hey You Pikachu, a game that's about you talking to Pikachu using a microphone included with the game. That's it. Hey, let's try the Pokemon channel. All you have to do is just watch television and I play occasional simple mini games. Wow. Yeah, these games aren't very good, but when I see a game that specifically starred the Yellow Mouse himself or itself, I tended to be a bit skeptical whether or not it could be a good game or just be a gimmicky shallow mess that uses brand recognition to sell. So when I hear about Detective Pikachu, I was pleasantly surprised. Up that side. You got it. Come on. Wait. Hold it! Hey, I can't see! You're in red! Hold on to it! Easy for you to say, but I gotcha! Ow, 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 ow! My ears! That's me! Oh, sorry, old fellow. Pikachu! I'm stretching out my ears! Would you let me go? Uh, that was you talking? Could have been more gentle setting me down! Uh, sorry? Just like a lot of people at the time, a game about Pikachu, a Pokemon who couldn't say anything but his name in a high pitched voice, suddenly can talk and become a detective? I thought it would be the dumbest idea ever. But since the game existed for a few years now, and there's recently been a Hollywood movie based on the game that did pretty well in the box office and reviews, so yeah, I got a little interested in what's going on with this game. I thought people would laugh at it, let alone be greenlitted in the first place. So, what do I think about Detective Pikachu? I like it. Detective Pikachu isn't half bad. I would say it's pretty good. It's a puzzle adventure game starring Detective Pikachu, a talking Pokemon with amnesia teaming up with a boy called Tim Goodman, who's the only human to understand him and only bumped into him just to find his missing father. Since Pikachu's only few memories are with him working with his father, they join together to solve the case. Yep, for the first time in Pokemon history, it's an adventure game that's being more about story in general which is odd since people play Pokemon for the gameplay. The plot and story for a detective game obviously is going to be simple and clean for a child friendly game. Like what do you expect, Pikachu investigating a murder case or something? While the plot of the game is simple, what really works is the writing and that's for Detective Pikachu himself. I love this character, being a coffee drinking, womanizing smart ass he is. He's easily the most engaging, charismatic and funniest character in the game no contest. So. Tell me, what are you going to do now? I'm guessing you don't plan on giving up the search. Of course not. Well, normally I would say that you probably should give it up. No way. Relax. I'm going to look for him with you. Yeah? I've been looking for Harry long before you came along. <sighs> but it's going to be a dangerous journey. So prepare yourself. Okay. Good. That's done. Now, since we'll be roommates, why don't we lay down some rules? Roommates? You can't just move in with me like that. Who's talking about moving in? This happens to be my apartment. If anyone's a freeloader, it's you. You're eating all of the sweets for the clients again! What's the problem? I need it more than them. My brain could really use a sugar boost. <laughs> hey! My ears again! What are you doing? That hurts! Come on, let me go! You're hurting me! I guess I should get going. Uh, okay. What are you doing? Invite her out to tea or something. What are you talking about? Ah. Uh, Tim, 
Don't tell me you confused this guy for me, did you? Uh... <laughs> Tim isn't as cool or interesting as Pikachu, but he doesn't have any annoyed traits like most kid characters would have. He's a normal, quiet, a bit nervous person, but that's it. He's indifferent to me, and that's a lot better than being terrible and annoying in my opinion. The voice acting in general in the English localization is very strong, with everyone fitting well and being believable in their performances. But Keiji Tang, the voice actor of Pikachu, stole the entire show and generally impressed me with his performance, since most people are more focused on wanting Danny DeVito to play him instead. So what about the gameplay? Detective Pikachu is an adventure game similar to point and click games, but very simplified. The game is separated into different chapters that focus on different cases to solve. You go around talking to witnesses, with Tim talking to the people, and Pikachu talking to Pokemon. Then you find specific clues in the environment, and once you gather it up, Pikachu would tell you to stop and figure out what happened with the pieces you found, and once you correctly do it, you beat the case. And that's the formula it goes throughout the game, and there isn't really much variety in solving these cases without it. Personally, I would prefer more challenge and depth to the gameplay, but I can't complain about it since the audience isn't for me. What truly Detective Pikachu got right is the presentation. Since the game was released in the late days of the 3DS, the developers took advantage well of the 3DS's hardware to create high quality detail environments and character models with impressive animation in the game that rivals the pre-rendered cutscenes. I love the jazzy, laid back soundtrack, as well as many, and I do mean many, different intros for Pokemon when interacting with them for the first time. Also the different scenes of Pikachu doing his usual thing is an absolute treat to watch. There are times when cautious effort is needed the most, you know? In conclusion, I recommend Detective Pikachu for those who still have their 3DSs and willing to accept simple gameplay and enjoy mostly funny interactions with this glorious creature right there. I'm Ken the Chameleon, signing out.